Okay, so hello everyone. We are back again here with the next video for array searching playlist. Today's question we're gonna cover is about the number of occurrences. And before starting out, if you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe so, and hit the bell icon to get the regular updates. Okay, let us proceed with the question now. So we have been given a sorted array of size n and a number x. We need to find the number of occurrences in the x in the array, right? So let us first discuss that what are all the possible approaches, right? So considering that we know how all the data structures work, that is uh, the maps, the trees, the linked list and everything like the basic understanding, right? So what would be the method one is that we just do a linear traversal, linear traversal in this array. And whenever we are finding the element value equals to our target value, like here we need to find X, right? Then we just do count plus plus. And this approach will give you an O of n time complexity and O of 1 space complexity since we are not using any additional data structures to store the elements. What would be the method to? So whenever this come, this question come of finding the number of occurrences. So one thing must come to your mind, number of occurrences or duplicacy, let's say mention. And one thing must hit your mind is that is the maps, right? Where the value pair frequency is stored, key value key value pairs is stored. So using this approach, we can put all the elements in the map and we can increase the frequency as in when it is encountered again. And for that, we will have O of n time complexity for map and space complexity as O of n again to store all the elements in the map, right? What would be the method three? Before moving ahead to the method three, let me just show you the code for these two methods. And then we can move ahead with the third method, right? Okay, so that is the method one. We are just basically iterating for each and every value in the array. When it is striking, the value is, uh, if the target value match, matches, then we, we are just incrementing the count and thus we are iterating the count. Now, a question for you guys. Will this solution get submitted? Right? As you can see in the expected, they are saying login. But let's just forget about the expected time complexity. If I hit the submit button here, will this solution get submitted? Now, Please pause this video and since you are following me from my previous days of GFG PTD, so I expect that you will get the answer to this question. It's a simple answer question. If I press the submit button, then you should have the solution to the submit button. Pause the video, think about the answer. If you think about it, please tell us in the comment section, yes, we know the logic of 10 power 8 and we were able to figure it out. I would be happy to see the comments, right? So okay, the answer is that the submit will be submitted. Why will it be submitted? क्योंकि किसी भी कोड को सबमिट होने के लिए वी हैव टू यूज द आइटरेशंस इन लेस देन इक्वल्स टू 10 पावर 8 इफ यू हैव मेंटेन दैट कंडीशन देन डेफिनेटली योर कोड विल गेट सबमिटेड राइट सो हियर व्हाट इज द टाइम कॉम्पेसिटी वी आर यूजिंग ओ ऑफ n एंड व्हाट इज द n पॉइंटिंग टू n इज पॉइंटिंग टू 10 पावर 5 व्हिच इज डेफिनेटली लेस देन 10 पावर 8 सो दैट इज व्हाई इफ आई हिट द सबमिट बटन फॉर दिस अप्रोच then that should definitely get submitted, right? And that's the catch. That's the catch of Tenpire that you must use in your online assessment and competitive programming. Great. So we have done this question. But yes, there is much more extra to be covered as a concept in this question. So please wait and then see the rest of the approaches. So let us comment this approach, the method one. So the second method was using a map, right? Let me uncomment that code now. Okay, okay, so as you can see, that's the second approach. Nothing, we have just done two steps. We have maintained a hash map, we have maintained a count. So, for using a for loop, we are pushing each and every element in the map, right? So, map.get or default is, is a function you must remember if you code in Java, it's a very handy method. Uh, it basically what it does is just scrap, it just scrape down that if the element is present, if the key is present in the XXT map, it fetches the uh, free, it fetches the value and do the increment using this plus one. If it is not present, it by default set it to zero and then do plus one, right? So for this particular element, the hash map will store that one, the key one having value as two, the key two is having value as four, and key three is by having value as one, right? Okay, now, now we are just iterating in the map and then we are getting, if that particular key, if, the, if that key is present in a map, you get the value. And that value is nothing but the frequency, right? And at last we return that count, right? Let us compile it and again, a question to you, will that solution will get submitted? Please pause now and think of it and definitely comment in the, comment in the, uh, uh, definitely see your answer in the comment section. I'd be happy to see that. So yes, this solution will get submitted again because what's the time complexity? It's O of N. N is 10 power 5, which is less than 10 power 8. So this solution must get submitted. Let us, let us wait for that and then we can move ahead with the third and optimized approach that is for this video is all about.
Okay, if you see a term here sorted, right? Then you must think, then you must start thinking in a direction which will hit this topic binary search, right? And I've also made a video of trick the TLE, trick the TLE in the time complex T. Uh, playlist right there I have explained to you that how you can do the constraint analysis and seeing the constraint how you can figure out that which method you should go with right so if you see here if you see here it is 10 power 5 correct so if it is 10 power 5 then definitely you can do an approach is in O of n so O of n square can you do it 10 power 5 is square root to 10 power 10 right so this is going beyond 10 power 8 right so if you are in OA online assessment or in competitive programming so do not start thinking in O of n square that will be a waste of time for you right start thinking in n or even you can go for n log n right and then below this n you can go log n and then everything right so must watch this video that's a very important one you can find an algo to any problem if you know to do constraint analysis right correct so if this is sorted one thing come to your mind that is a binary search right so how the binary search works is that let's say you have this element you have these elements one one two 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 three or let me just shift the board okay so how does that work is that uh, we uh, use the privilege of getting uh, 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 use the privilege of to search in the right and left half. So how does that work? So we initialize a low pointer to zero and we initialize a high pointer to the last element that is n minus one. Now let us maintain an answer index which is now pointing to minus one. Let's say. So hum yahan pe kya karenge? That this is my low, this is my high, and I will find the mid element. So mid is nothing but my low plus high by two. So if you do six plus zero by two, it will give you three, right? So mid will point here correct and we will run this binary search till while low is less than equals to high let me just write it down and then we can do right so there here would be two cases that if array of mid right it, it is if it is greater than x right and if it is higher than x so one is once is this then there would be another else if let's say there's th there are two plus three possibilities so it's array of mid is equals equals to x and there's a last probability where we are actually handling that array of mid is less than x, right? So we need to mention that what are the steps we need to follow in this all three if statement, let's say. So the array of mid here is nothing but two, right? So what is our use case? We need to find the, the first index and the last index. So definitely my last index would be this and the first index would be this for the target element x equals to two. If we find that particular index, we can just return five minus two plus one, which will give you as four. And that is the answer, right? So what is the changes that we need to do in the binary search? So array of mid is now equals equals to x, right? So how do we do this? We have these options. हमारे पास यहां पे दो पॉसिबिलिटी है मैं इस मिड एलिमेंट पर हूं इसके आगे भी ये टारगेट एलिमेंट प्रेजेंट हो सकता है और इसके पीछे भी हो सकता है राइट वंस वी फाइंड अगर कब होगा जब हमारा मिड एग्जैक्टली x पे लाई कर जाए राइट सो इन दैट केस सो सिंस नाउ वी आर हैंडलिंग द केस ऑफ फाइंडिंग द लास्ट अकरेंस राइट नॉट द फर्स्ट अकरेंस सो व्हाट आई विल डू आई विल आस्क माय बाइनरी सर्च दैट इफ वी हैव फाउंड द टारगेट एलिमेंट डू द बाइनरी सर्च अगेन इन द राइट हैंड साइड right so here i will write that first you store the answer so i will store index is equals to mid and do the binary search in the right hand side so low is equals to mid plus one so i will apply binary search in this section right so if i apply the binary search what would be the change in indexes so this would be my low this would be my high right and then again if i do low plus high by two this will be my mid and I can clearly see that again mid is equals equals to x. Then what I will do? I will apply binary search in this this section, right? So I will update. So first of all, index was updated to two, right? Uh, this one, the third index, right? So it is updated to three. <clears throat> then it got updated to five, correct? And now I do the binary search where? In this section, right? So let me just write it down. So I need to do a binary search in this particular element, which has the index six and this is L and this is high. If I find the mid, mid would be nothing but uh, low plus high six plus six by two again, six it would be right. And if I can see that the now the mid element that is three, it is greater than my target element. So it will fall in this case. And in this case, what do we need to do? I'm just particular element per hai, that itself is greater than my target. So definitely I need to search in the left hand side, right? 
तो हम यहाँ पे क्या करेंगे इफ आई नीड टू सर्च इन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड आई विल से हाई इज इक्वल्स टू मिड माइनस वन दैट्स वॉट आई विल राइट हेयर हाई इक्वल्स टू मिड माइनस वन एंड इन इन दिस केस आई विल जस्ट राइट लो इज इक्वल्स टू मिड प्लस वन करेक्ट And now, if you see our updated pointers, where is high and low? So high is mid minus one. So high is at this point. High is at five. If I just write it here, high is at five and low is at six. Now you can clearly see that the low less than equals to high inequality does not hold here, and we need to stop. And right. And what's the index value storing? It's storing the uh, fifth five, right? That's the last occurrence of our uh, uh, of the target. Correct. So the similarly, what the changes we need to do in uh, finding the first occurrence, right? What the changes we need to do? So let me write the test case again and let us see. So instead of moving here, okay. One thing I would like you guys to try. Since we have seen that how we are finding the last index, now I will highly encourage you guys to pause this video here and see that what are all the changes you need to do in this else if condition. to make the things work this the first if and the last else will remain as it is we just need to change in this so what is that thing right so if you do the binary search here again the mid will come here so let me just write down the indexes so 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so the mid will come here right and again you can see that the mid element and the target element resides but i need to find the first occurrence and the first occurrence the possibility is that we need to move in the left hand side direction so i will tell my binary search that what you need to do is that you first store the answer and then do the binary search in the left hand side so this was low this was high right the next iteration would be that this would be low and this would be high correct so i will say that your high is equals to mid minus 1 yep so i will write it down here that as my next step is that high is equals to mid minus 1 Let us complete the iterations now. So the highest mid one, and again mid will point at this at this index, this one, right? And mid would be, and you can see that this element here is one, which is um, which is lesser than my target. So definitely to find my target as to, I need to move in the right hand side direction, right? So I will do low equals to high, low equals to mid plus one. So this was the fourth iteration, second, second iteration, and here uh, low and high would be pointing to this index. This index, right? And as you can see, if you find the mid, mid would be nothing but two. Right, the same index, two plus two, two plus two by two, it would be two. And you can see that the, again, it has the same. Uh, the mid is pointing to the same uh, value, the target value. So again, I will store. So my index would be updated to now two, and then I will call my binary search in the left hand side direction, right? So low would be pointed to that is mid minus one. So it would be two minus one. That is one. And high would be pointing as two. Now you can again see that while low less than high, uh, is it true? Let me see. Yeah. So we need to do the binary search here, right? So high would be updated to two minus one, and low remains as it is, right? So and if you see while low less than equals to high terminology uh, inequality does not satisfy, and we need to stop here, right? And we got our first occurrences stored in this idx variable that is two, right? So that is the only changes that you need to do in finding the first occurrences. So you have two tasks now. uh make two functions that is finding uh the first index first occurrence and the last occurrence index for this target and then just call those functions and return uh last minus first plus 1 this this thing right please pause this video and i try to code this up and then we can resume ahead and what should be the time complexity of this approach it should be log n right because for each after completing each and every iteration we are just neglecting the half part of the elements so we were when when we were at this point we neglect this half and then we just covered this half right and then when we were at this point we then again neglected this half and then we just find this particular half right so that means we are for each and every iteration we are neglecting one half of the array so that means so let's say suppose the first the first it was 10 then it goes to 5 then 5 the elements that to be search in that is 2 and then 1 and then completely zero right so if this kind of thing is happening right then definitely what is the time complexity it is log n base We are dividing the array into two equal sizes, so log n base two, right? If we have dividing the array like ten, like it is nine, and then we divide it into, uh, like we are into, uh, we divide it by three, let's say, so three, 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 and then again we divide by three, let's say, uh, one. Then this is the time complexity is log n base three, 
राइट दिस थ्री इज द नंबर विच यू ये वो नंबर है जिसे हम अरे को डिवाइड कर रहे हैं जिस नंबर को डिवाइड कर रहे हैं राइट सो अगेन वट वुड कैमिस्ट्री लॉग एन एंड वी आर कॉलिंग विल बी कॉलिंग टू पैरल फंक्शन नाउ सो एज यू कैन सी दिस द फर्स्ट कोड right i have already shown you the dry run so i'll not explain you again just scroll it through the code and this is l index finding the first occurrence so the only changes we need to do in the else if part and rest of it remains same that is that is it we just call the function here that is stored in the first and last and we return last minus first plus one but bhaiya what is this thing right so there will be one case that let's say the target that you need to search in the element will not itself present in the array so in that case your uh, either your last Uh, either you can take help from the last index or the first index. I have initialized the last and first. Uh, this index is minus one in each and every uh, finding the first and uh, last occurrences, right? So either you can write if last is equal to one, or you can write if first is equal to equal to minus one, then return zero, right? If there is no element present itself, then the question is saying if it, if x is not present in the array, return zero. That's what I have done. Else you return the uh, last index minus first index plus one, correct? Okay, let us hit the submit button. So again, what is the time complexity? So each and every function is taking you log n. So it would be two log n. Ignoring the constant, it would be log n. What is the space complexity O of n? Because we are not using any additional data structures, right? And that's what expected here. So definitely, so great, we have done this question. Let us see the C plus plus code, and then we shall end this video. Okay, so that is the C plus plus code. Let me just give you a not walk through. Let me just scroll it through. Uh, it's the same thing we have discussed in the dry run and everything. So there is an uh, bracket here. Let me see that. Yep. So the compilation has been passed successfully. So do not worry. I will mention all the source code in the description link in the DSS repository. So do not worry. Just understand the logic, and the code will come in time with you. Okay. So let us summarize the approaches now. So we have seen three methods, right? The first is the linear traversal, the map, and then the binary search where the time complexity is log n. And the space complexity is O of one. There's but there is one more method. I I will not say one more method, but I will say the inbuilt functions of uh, whatever we are doing we are doing here in the method tree. So the the developers maybe have made the inbuilt functions for that, right? In the C plus plus we have an inbuilt function of getting the lower bound and upper bound directly. But behind the scenes, what is happening? We have explained. We have we have covered that in method tree. So right. So I, I will never encourage you to. Uh, uh, Remember the inbuilt functions, right? Especially for this kind of thing, the situation that is binary, right? You should you should always uh, know the basics that if we got, if you have, if you have a question and you have to build it yourself from scratch, right? And that is what they will check in the interview as well. They, if you should do the question using this inbuilt, definitely they would ask that no, he is how he is working, explain it properly, right? Do the dry run and everything. But yes, we will see that approach as well. Then we shall end this video. Okay, so that's the last approach in the C plus plus where we have used the inbuilt functions. So let us let's just hit the submit button, and yes, that's done. So great, we have covered all the possible approaches for this question. So kudos and congratulations to everyone who have made uh, this far in this video of 18 minutes. I can see. Okay, let us meet in the next video of our array searching playlist. Till then, keep learning, keep going. Bye bye, and take care, guys.